hotties, hola mi gente, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just gonna be catching up with you guys, letting you know where I've been, what I've been up to. It's been a while since we've just sat down and talked. I'm gonna just be doing my makeup while we catch up on the chisme, the tea, all the good stuff that's been going on. Cause honey, we have been getting some blessings over here. Thank you, Jesus. Grab some juice and don't go anywhere. Just like fire, turning up the way. Girl, let me just hydrate my skin because I was having a little panic attack because the day that I decided to film My monitor was giving me my problems. It's like really like glitching out on me And I was like I cannot deal with this today. I cannot we are on a time crunch over here Let me just moisturize this skin you guys. I don't know about you. It's really weird your body changes as you grow older in so many different ways <laughs> And I remember when I was younger, my skin would, would be like so oily and like healthy and just like, like, you know, like a good oily, like moistures, moistures, moisturized. And now I have to be constantly moisturizing. My skin is like the Sahara Desert, bitch. My scalp, dry, dry skin, flaky skin. And it's because I don't know if it's, I've gotten older or what. And a lot of you may not know this, but I have like a skin. I don't know what it's called, skin disorder or skin problem, whatever you want to call it. It's called. I had to go to the dermatologist and everything because the like my dandruff was getting so bad, like so bad, that I had to go to a dermatologist. And it was just, it would be so itchy, it would be so, like, literally, like, a snowfall coming from my head. I literally needed to get that checked because it was not cute at all. Always having to have dandruff on my clothes. And literally anywhere where I grow hair, not, like, anywhere where I grow hair here, so my scalp, my beard, behind my ears and in my ears, my eyebrows, all grow the dermatologist said seborrhea dermatitis so it's like a more intense degree of dandruff like it's a, a higher level and there's like you know you have they have creams medical creams for that and medical shampoo that that's what I use because literally no head and shoulders no um seps and blue or whatever that dandruff shampoo is was not helping my case at all. Everyone is different, but thank God because the shampoo she prescribed me really freaking works. So now, every time I do my makeup, I have to be bathing my face in moisturizer because it's so flaky or else my makeup will crack. I put on my jewelry just to go to the bodega. At the beginning, I thought, oh shit, like, do I have psoriasis or some shit? Because it was like so, like, so uncomfortable, so crazy. So, I mean, I don't know if psoriasis itches or not, but I'm no doctor. I'm gonna put a picture of what what I have on the screen. So, Variety Dermatitis is this, and it should look like this. I don't know if I'm the only one. The doctor said that, like, 10% of adults get it like when you grow older girl it is not cute on another note I just got my taxes done yesterday so I'm feeling very productive very put together even though every year I wait for the last minute I think taxes are due like in two weeks I don't know by the time I drop this video when it will probably be due by then but I literally always wait for like the month of that is due. It's just such a Patting on some of that Suva Beauty um, UV, what is it called? Hydro FX and Dance Party. So just make your eyeshadow pop more when you stick it on. Because we're doing like some um, sunset warm 
vibes today. It's looking a little crazy, but that just means that's gonna look great. So I'm gonna use the James Charles palette. Literally, this palette has everything, like every color. I'm usually always using it. So lately, you guys, I've just really been on my adulting. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like those errands that you haven't been wanting to do, but you have to do. So like tomorrow, I have to take the car to the body shop that I've been like, oh, like postponing because yeah, last year, if you don't know, I actually had a video about it on my channel last year. Um. Hey, we ended my car and of course he doesn't have insurance he's broke so I am taking my car to the body shop tomorrow because I just think it's finally time to just get it done and fixed up and just drive around in a decent car because literally my trunk he rear ended me and my trunk won't close so that's just fabulous Let's just buff out those edges because they're a little rough. In other news, you guys, I I don't know if you guys saw, like I last year I made a video about a vision board and things I wanted to accomplish in a year. Debt free is going to happen. Okay, it's going to happen. This year, this is the year that we're gonna get out of debt. It's been a year. And some things were accomplished, some things weren't accomplished, but that's the point of like holding yourself accountable. To your list because it's your list I am proud to say that I'm finally debt free I'm completely debt free I finally did it I paid off all of my credit cards and it feels like such a relief to finally get that out of the way and not have that over your shoulders anymore holding you down like it's so annoying having Freaking, I don't know how many payments being withdrawn from your check every month, every month, every day, month, every day, every month, every day. Oh my god. I liquidated all of my credit cards. I finally was able to save enough money and just get rid of them because, not rid of them, like I have my credit cards, but I'm just not going to be using them because I already know not to get involved with that anymore. Only use credit cards, like, use credit cards in a smart way. But not like using them because you don't have the money. No, use them because you have the money and then pay it off right away, like within two weeks. Let me tell you guys that starts accumulating and that's where it gets you. Always like that. You always think you're going to pay it off. Oh, you need a, a bigger limit. You want more credit. You can handle it. This and that. Que no se que. And it starts to creep up on you and it just becomes this giant monster that you didn't even know you could create and it's literally like that i really don't know who i thought i was mixing all these colors together <gasps> five hours later with these colors it takes forever to blend them like especially light colors vibrant colors like this i'm gonna do my under eyes so i was i was saying bodies like it's literally i wanted to get rid of that debt because it's just, it was just such a pressure on overhead pressure eventually when you want to buy a house or you want to buy an apartment or whatever like you need to have good credit and it's really important you guys if you're starting young be careful with your credit because it can just f everything up it's a lot more complicated than what it seems school should have really taught us this but they didn't so now i have the freedom and the wisdom to use the credit to my advantage and not to the creditor's advantage you get what i'm saying use the credit only if you have the money in your account use it to create and grow more credit for your future for if you want to get a car if you want to get a house if you want to get properties it's important so be careful with it and use it wisely eating my protein bar porque hay que nutriarse hay que nutriarse mi vida es otra cosa yo estoy trying to be on my meal plan as much as possible because Uno no puede engordar porque están estas perras en Instagram, ¿ok? Y uno no se puede quedar atrás. We gotta maintain our figure over here, ¿ok? Oh, so I'm gonna go in with Super Beauty on my under eye. And do like a little green moment, you know, because the shirt is like... Has the vibe. Así que ya saben ustedes, yo estoy aquí prosperando mi vida, prosperando... Worried about my finances. Oh my god. I'm such a fake bitch. I didn't tell you guys. 
the biggest reason that like the biggest reason that helped me the end of last year I was in the process of transitioning to a new job I was in the process of interviews and all of that because I was offered a better opportunity at the hospital now I work at a hospital and that was really big for me also because in the middle of a pandemic to be switching jobs you never know how it's gonna go at the new place and you never know who's working there and especially with the uncertainty of the virus and the economy and all that i wanted to make sure it was gonna be like a big steady thing you know a hospital never closes and it's always gonna be in business and it's always gonna be in demand so i decided to take the opportunity because that was a good opportunity and um yeah now i work at a hospital and i was able to clear my debt at the beginning of the new year, fresh year, fresh start. Honey, estoy puesto para mis finanzas, mi vida, prosperando, prosperando. Las que no se operan, no prosperan. Yo me quedo poba. Monga. Thank God I love my coworkers too because I, that was another thing I was worried about you because you never know, you never know. But they're super chill, super good people, super hard workers. And there's always that one or two, you know, that like you're just not like very in love with. But it'll do. At the beginning, I was working so much because it was like my first 90 days. So I would work overtime and I would just get as many hours as I could because I wanted to um, pay off the cards fast. Because there's other things that I would, like I want to start saving up for a place and I want to, you know, start making other plans. I would work like a hundred and something hours in two weeks. So I would really work three weeks in two. You know what I'm saying? I would go and travel to other hospitals if they need me at other hospitals because sometimes they're understaffed, especially now with the pandemic. And now you guys will hear like a bunch of hospital stories because literally everyone walks into a hospital. Like every story you can possibly think of happens in the hospital. It's literally you know what? I haven't seen that um, Netflix show. Como que se llama? Grey's Anatomy. But I'm gonna start watching because it's literally, I feel like, a novela. The tea that you guys are gonna be hearing. Literally, Diosito siempre me está, like, cuidando or looking out for me because in, like, right after graduation. I graduated last year, remember you guys? And I posted on my Instagram. I graduated last year and it's really difficult after you graduate to be finding like a good job and that's steady and like stable and all of that shit. Literally like it fell on my lap like I wasn't even looking for it. I be working nights so while I work nights I'll be um it's usually slower in the hospitals at night so I'll be editing my YouTube videos at my office on my downtime I could edit my pictures like I could multitask. And I'm by myself, so it's like perfect for me. I hate talking to you guys while I'm doing my makeup because I just, I, like, I can't do both. Like, it's one or the other. Like, look, mira como tengo los pelos. That actually brings me to my other thing that I've noticed that's been going on. You guys, tell me if it's just me or if I'm right, you know? Because I've been noticing that, like, the internet is changing so much and YouTube... Let's see, when did I start YouTube? Like maybe in 2017? And now, every th content is just different. Before creators were constantly uploading makeup tutorials, you got, people would love watching makeup tutorials, the audience was just like demanding more tutorials. And now I feel like the audiences, like creators are not doing that anymore because it, all reality is true. Tutorials are not bringing in the views anymore, it's not bringing in the numbers, it's just not. Even with me and myself, it's just not entertaining to be watching another bitch say how to blend eyeshadow or how to contour. It's like those videos are already out there. They already exist. Even better for me because I do love makeup, but I'm more of like on the entertaining side and like the vlogging side. I don't always like want to be telling you what I'm doing to my face. Some days is good, you know, some days like I am into it. I'm always gonna be glam, whatever I do, I'm always glam, but I'm just not like a tutorially ass bitch. Like it's just it's just a little bit annoying to me. Thank God that YouTube has been evolving and changing because now I feel like even the big players, James, Charles, and all Nikki well Nikki still does tutorials, but like I feel like they're 
everyone's doing what's the new challenge what's gonna be the new um what's the new game that's out the new mukbang the new whatever twitch is happening whatever was whatever's going on with that i'm not like a gamer or anything i do feel like youtube at least in the beauty community is more focusing now on the entertainment side of things you know asmrs mukbangs music video reaction vlogs collabings collabs uh, i feel in the earlier years it was just not that really excited about that because that's actually something that like th that's the type of vibe that i want here i'm definitely going to be collabing with some familiar faces if you guys follow me on instagram and you see my stories you'll be seeing like who and what i'm always up to and doing and one thing i am in the middle of doing which is tonight i'm gonna be actually actively looking for a videographer i want a local miami videographer that just can pick up a camera and follow me around to things that be happening because my life my life is interesting honey i hope like you don't even know like a lot of people say that but like the things that be happening off camera that you guys do not see it's the real tea some girl at the salon said oh when you guys when you guys do content do you guys like have a makeup artist girl i wish i had a makeup artist i wouldn't have to be getting up so early being doing glam all the time a makeup art <laughs> and since we're talking about everything i might as well tell you that boys are stupid because tell me how this guy is going to start having a conversation with me or like initiating conversation at work. He started, he engaged with me. He started talking to me about about his his life and his personal shit, right? Through text message too and in, in person and flirting and shit. So how are you going to initiate something with someone and then like leave drop it like like super dry after a couple of days super dry and like something happened and i know it's nothing with me honey because i did not like nothing happened nothing happened so when you first exchange numbers with someone it's just very superficial very over the top you know then crickets frogs bitch so boys are just dumb i hate like i don't have time to be playing games and catch and follow the leader, chase the mouse, like none of that shit. Straight shooter, like tell me what you want and get it. You know, like very simple. Let's keep things black and white, bitch. What you guys don't know is that I got the vaccine. You know, everyone has their own opinions about the pandemic and about the vaccine. I wanted to wait a couple of months before they started rolling out the vaccines and all of that to to see what will happen I'm going on a cruise in june i'll be going on a cruise so i was like look you have to be traveling and then you have to be taking the covid test before you travel and then after you travel to get back into the united states and then it's like you have to be taking i don't know how many tests and then if you're positive then like it's just a stressful situation so after i got out of my shift at work one morning i got my my i got vaccinated was two seconds she stuck it in i have the video i'll put it up here she stuck it in that was fast. and it was fast it was painless i didn't get side effects because it was my first dose i just taken the first dose let me know if you guys want me to document the second dose because people be telling me that the second dose it has like side effects and it's like this whole like Odyssea with the second dose like it's like you feel the virus you get sick I don't know what so I might document the second dose if you know what I mean just to see and have it for you guys to see I don't know I'm not telling you what you should do you do with your body whatever you want to do I'm just telling you that I tried it out and my first dose, I didn't feel any side effects. Nothing happened to me so far. Thank God. And I will be traveling, so I just wanted to just... And I have my family, my grandma, my dad. 
So I just got it out of the way, bitch. I just got it out of the way. You guys better be staying safe. I don't know what, what's gonna happen later this year. If What are they gonna do with um, the mask? Are the masks gonna stay? Are they gonna leave? Or like, what, are things gonna get back to normal? Are they not? I really don't know. But I just know like this literally has changed our lives. Can't forget some of this blush because this is like a summer like pre-summer vibe. So what else do we talk about? We talked about boys, we talked about my new job, we talked about I do my taxes, I'm fixing my car this week, I'm flourishing honey, that bank account is growing, I was about to put blush on my forehead. Um, You see this is why I can't do this. What else am I forgetting? That while I've been gone, what the hell? Oh, bitch, can we talk about TikTok? It's TikToking, honey. My TikTok is TikToking, so you bitches better go and follow because let me tell you, at the beginning I didn't really know how that shit worked, and I still don't. Like I'm still learning as I go. But honey, he is dedicated. He is growing. He is flourishing. He is prospering. <laughs> we are almost at 20k on TikTok. And I'm really excited about that because TikTok is what's popping right now and it's really like YouTube has been changing, other platforms have been changing. We all know, what well, if you're a content creator, you know that Instagram, the algorithm is just stuck. Like it's stuck, I don't know what the CEOs are doing, eating, literally eating lo que pica pollo because I, like nobody can grow on Instagram. Only like people have like 10 million followers and not even because their followers be coming from TikTok just like our followers be coming from TikTok because the algorithm just don't be showing you the content the way that it used to on Instagram. I could go on my explore page, refresh the page and the same images will come out but in different order. What is that? Before in early in other years you would you would always see something different something different or it would be in chronological order and it was like i would see all of the people i follow's posts now i only see like three four and then and then once that goes off it will say oh recommended posts of people that i don't follow so it's like so how does that work it's just so annoying i know james has complained about that several times on his um on his stories on Instagram and he's even tagged the CEO of Instagram but I guess he doesn't care. TikTok, at least what I've been seeing, has really been helping to grow your Instagram. Like in general everyone's Instagram and like other all my friends too. Like the focus has turned to TikTok. I I swear if TikTok all they had to do, all they have to do is make a little like movement in TikTok, a little glitch, a little a little a little area to upload pictures and Instagram would be done because it's just like TikTok be pushing your content constantly pushing your content it's easier to grow it's easier like your views grow faster on TikTok you have more exposure the algorithm only shows you thing people on the platform that you want to see content that you want to see it's easier because it's it's not as staged as Instagram is more Instagram is more like a fantasy you know those pictures don't really exist like that TikTok is more like impromptu like como tú estás like como con en lo que estás haciendo en el día como tú estés en el en el sedanos or if you're in the street or if you're in the mall it's just right there boom press record do a little dance everyone's doing the same dances it's like real simple you don't even have to think you just have to be whatever everyone's doing do it and it'll, and you'll grow like literally and it's fun to do especially when you're having friends to do it with so it's like i love i love tiktok i love tiktok and i think i went ham on the blush you know but i think it goes with the purple that's my opinion on tickety tockety and instagram needs to get their stuff together because if not they're going to be left behind like myspace and facebook okay because facebook really only who uses facebook like who uses facebook you know, I swatched this lipstick first before I did it and my mind was like, it should not go because it's just too much, you know? 
and the eyes are already colorful and the lips are all very bold and this is not a color I usually do but for some reason it goes <laughs> like it just is giving me like you know like it it kind of is like carnival Miami Mama Cita, you know when I put it all together with the lashes it's kind of is like editorial Barbie vibes. I put a nude and it just was not giving it to me. So this is ColourPop Casanova Cream. Yeah, it's gonna stay because I like it. I'ma just put on my lashes off camera and then I'll be back with you guys to wrap it up. I hope I'm not forgetting anything of any updates that has happened. I'm sure a lot more has happened but I just can't remember it. But it doesn't matter because I'm not going anywhere, honey. All right, you guys, this is the final look. I am actually low-key obsessed with it. In midway, you guys don't know, but I completely effed up the inner um, yellow because I tried to put glitter on it. I didn't like it, so I had to take it off and put the yellow again. So, but I really like how this came out. It's totally something out of my comfort zone. I really want to push myself because... I don't know what it is as you grow older you have a different taste in, about everything like when I was younger I used to love colors now I love neutrals and nude looks and just you know browns and coppers and just those colors are just so pretty to me now before I was like why is everyone doing that but like color once in a while and it gives a color to my Instagram page too if you guys don't follow me yet go and follow me to my Instagram you won't regret it my, my Instagram game and my TikTok game, it's there, honey. It's there. And we're growing on TikTok, sweetie. Now, the YouTube game, I'm working on it, honey. I think, you know, that's another thing I was going to talk about. When I uploaded the first video of the, the room tours, the first video that I've come back to YouTube, that same night, I had a dream that I was being chased and shot at. And I always Google the dreams like that I have always Google them because they really they truly mean something. It's something wired in your brain. That's why you're having the dream. So it says something about I think I took a picture of what it said. The spiritual meaning of being chased in a dream often symbolizes one of these two options. You are running from something in your life. It is likely that being chased means that you're avoiding a problem in real life. You're being chased by your own destiny. And I think it's kind of makes sense because like listen, I've been doing YouTube for years now on and off. I've never stayed consistent. I think the most consistent I've stayed on YouTube has been four months each time I've done it because it's just a lot of work and it's very tiresome and then you run out of ideas and you're not inspired every time you get on the camera. Not everyone can do it. That's why you see like these big YouTubers like Nikita, Gabriel Zamora, like all of these um youtubers that have, the really consistent ones have always been, and patrick even patrick star sometimes has fallen off youtube like he, he'll come back and on you know we all know the consistent ones have always been nikki tutorials james charles always consistent consistent schedule to the but one thing i have learned and i have realized is organization really sets you up for success like literally like organization i feel like kills more than half the battle because if you're organized i have a set schedule Everything should work out. I just have to keep myself organized and everything, you know, on a set schedule. Like when you clock in and out of work, literally. Now that I have the gram and TikTok like on a schedule, I actually have content days for those. I'm now going to incorporate YouTube into that rhythm of social media back because now I have a set schedule at work. I work nights. I can edit my YouTube videos. Like right now, I'm finishing this one. I'm going to have to go to work in a couple of hours. Do you guys like this? I really like this. Giving me very like that song que dice. I forgot her name, but it goes. Por ahí se dice que soy un bombón. Now I'ma hop off here and do some TikToks too. So you guys go and follow me on TikTok if you haven't already. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope I've updated you on most of what's been going on. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. If I am, I'll 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 be coming back. Remember to subscribe to my channel, always be notified whenever I upload, like this video, and comment, and let me know what else you guys want to see. Let me know if you like the colors, bitch. I like them. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. I'll see you guys on my next video. Oh, and remember, bodies, we stay bad, so they stay mad. And I'll see you on the next one. Love you.